Hi, I'm Brandy. I am a second year here at UMR. Um, I'm going to start off with advice to the first years. I know it can be scary, but just keep pushing through it. A lot of classes are going to be hard for your first year, such as chemistry, biology, and uh, like a lot of math courses I noticed were hard as well. But just keep pushing and it'll get easier. And hopefully it'll get easier. Let me not say that. <laughs> um, hopefully it will get easier for you guys. It is it is difficult for you guys because you guys are transitioning from not being at home to being into a new environment and coming from high school to a college setting. It was hard for me, but it's not as hard for you because you don't have in-person classes so you can get a connection with your professors. Um, I think that's the most important thing of college is to have a connection with your um, your classmates and your professors because you want to have um, a connection with your professors so you're not afraid to ask them questions um, such as like things like for the exam or if you have a question on the homework um, and also like emailing can be hard because they don't respond quick enough and you need help like right away and you can't just, I guess, visit them at just ask like how I did. Um, and this year we don't have a lot of activities to do such, um, such things as we were gonna go to a play last year, um, sledding at Professor Bright's um farm was really fun i don't know if we're gonna do that this year um but we also had a halloween party in 318 commons which was amazing um, but this year hopefully we'll have a halloween con costume contest again and i encourage you all to um enter and enjoy it because Halloween is a big thing here in, at Yomar. It's like our homecoming because we don't have a football team or any of that. So I encourage you to dress up for Halloween and submit your um, costumes to us because there will be prizes involved, which is exciting and all that. Another thing I suggest, still try to keep in contact with your friends. Try to get involved, I guess, in some ways. Just keep your social, social distancing and please wear a mask and try to stay six feet apart. Uh, COVID has affected me in multiple ways, though. Um, in May, the weekend of Mother's Day, I got COVID, which was a scary thing because I thought it was going to be like a death, basically a death penalty to me, I guess. Um, but after getting the positive results, I was nervous. But for me, it was just a head cold. I didn't have a fever. I didn't have a cough. I just had a migraine every single day. I had nausea and back aches. But the family member who gave it to me, she had a lot of um, problems such as cold sweats, a cough and a fever and stuff like that. So it was very scary for us because we have a disabled family member and we were scared that we were going to give it to him and he would be in a worse condition than he actually is now. But um, luckily... <laughs> He is just fine, and we're all thankful for that. I'm just really hoping that this COVID thing um, gets over with so we can go back to our normal lives and being able to socialize with each other and hug each other and just love each other and all that. So, yeah, thank you.